Make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frameshift drive use. This Sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto-launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. Accelerate through the first checkpoint when you're ready to start. And we're off. There's no time limit, so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls.
practice to consider the angle and speed of your approach. See the blue marker beside the throttle gauge. This indicates the optimum turning speed. So I advise slowing down to prevent any mishaps. Frameshift drive charging. Ready to engage. Without entering Super Cruise, this assessment is going to take a rather long time. Frameshift drive charging. Ready to engage.
reset path. This is a good time to familiarize yourself with a couple of the cockpit panels available to you. In the top left of your HUD is the comms panel, which displays pilot communications and contacts across several channels. The top right, that's your info panel, entries here mostly relate to your ship's status, computer messages, and events happening around you. Ah, there we go. Welcome to Lightspeed. It's often worth scanning objects you're unfamiliar with to learn more about them. Next, you need to activate your weapons by cycling to a different fire group. You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. structures. Why not give them a try? Your cannon will automatically reload until the ammunition supply runs out. 
Meanwhile, your laser will fire until the capacitor is depleted, at which point it will need to recharge. Quota achieved. Let's dial up the challenge or not, shall we? An unmanned craft has arrived nearby. These drones are used by the Pilots' Federation as target practice, and they're quite harmless. To continue, bring the craft into your sights and open fire.
vital for a pilot's long-term survival. For advanced combat information, you should refer to the pilot's handbook, which we'll cover in more detail soon. The next step of your evaluation involves a hyperspace jump to a neighboring star system. On this occasion, your ship's computer has selected your destination for you. We'll cover selecting destinations manually soon. The mass lock indicator on the bottom right of the dashboard is active. This means a large object is in close proximity, preventing you from engaging the FSD. To resolve this, throttle up to move a safe distance away from the megaship. Remember, you can boost to temporarily increase your ship's speed. The mass lock indicator has gone out. When you are ready to travel light years in seconds, engage the FSD. You'll need to retract your hard points before entering hyperspace. often wonder what their first step into the galaxy should be. The pilot's handbook is a great source of help in this regard. It details a variety of professions and how to outfit your ship for them. The handbook also offers advice on various ship functions that aren't covered in this evaluation. You can find the pilot's handbook in the codex, accessible on the home screen via the internal interface panel. The trails moving around you are FSD wakes, your ship is also emitting one. The position of each correlates with their respective sensor display icons. In a moment, we'll be going through the docking process. This will cover docking permissions 
course and a standard landing pad approach. Yeah. 